So this is Keith and I'm going to show you how to modify an image for the internet in Photoshop. Um, I've taken a picture off of my digital camera and I have it here on the desktop and I'm going to open it with Photoshop. And this is a complex image so I'm going to end up wanting to save it as a JPEG. Uh, that's what the file is right now. You can a couple of basic things you can do is you can go up here to image adjust levels and you're going to get this nice curve here and you can adjust your lights and darks just by bringing them in a little bit you can see how the hues will change and you can adjust your midtones here it usually doesn't take very much adjusting if you just want to make something look a little bit more um, brighter for the screen and the other thing you're going to want to know how to do is to actually play with the brightness and contrast of course so this is another good way to make sure your image will display uh, brightly on the on the internet. And the third thing you're going to need to learn how to do is use your image size here. And since you're displaying on a screen, you need your resolution to be 72 dots per inch or pixels per inch. And then you need to figure out the dimensions of your picture and or the, the dimensions of the website and the place where you're going to display. So I usually will keep things that I display in a website at around four or 500 pixels because most of the main table areas are around 600 pixels. Um, if I'm going to display in a photo gallery where you know I need a big giant picture, then I might use a thousand pixels because it'll display by itself. However, in this case, let's say that this was just for a normal website. I would put 400 pixels in here and it's going to automatically adjust the heights and it changed it did that because of this constrained proportion tab right here so if I took this off I could make it any width or height that I wanted and construe the, the image in any fashion so after I have the dimensions that I want after it's in 72 dots per inch I hit OK and it's going to resize it as you can see and I'm going to zoom in here which I did via the control plus button. I love keyboard commands. And there we go, the same picture except it's now actually ready for the internet. Um, the last thing we actually have to do is go up here to file and save for web. And since this is a quality image you want to use a JPEG and you can change the different qualities um, here. So usually 50 or 60 is usually pretty good and for a JPEG you can blur things a little bit the more it's blurred the better the, uh, the compression ratio but if you blur it too much it's gonna look really bad so and that's about it you would save it and make sure you save your file wherever you need to and that will be the end of my tutorial on how to modify an image in Photoshop for the internet. Thank you, have a nice day.